What's up guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 demo. This is absolutely insane. This is the Desert Oasis like demo asset. I'm not sure what to call it. It's made by Maui. I'm going to link everything down below in the description. But um, this is beautiful. Look at this. This is a video game. This is not real life. Look at the sun here. This is a video game. Look at the particles of sand here. Look at the moving sand. This is a video game. This is using assets that are available in gaming today. The fact that in the very near future, we could have games that look like this. Think about an Uncharted or something with assets that look like this. An Assassin's Creed. Who knows what? We're going to go up to the top of this mountain up here. I'm going to try to see if we can find this oasis. I am just absolutely blown away. I, I feel like I've been transported to the Sahara. Look at the mountains off in the distance there. Even like the, the head bob and everything. And like when you zoom in on things, it just, it, it feels so realistic. You see that the camera shake and the head bob as we're walking along. I will say the, the body itself doesn't necessarily look that great. But everything else is absolutely insane. So we're going to make our way up to the top of this mountain here. And we're going to see, oh my gosh, just vast land of nothingness here we're gonna see if we can find our oasis i see some grass amongst all the sand all right let's uh, and then those are trees trev that's, that's not grass but something alive that's what we like to see all right we're, we're gonna start sprinting that way i just can't with this man this is absolutely this is the, the most beautiful video game like location I've ever been to the most beautiful video game moment I have ever experienced look at like when we're looking off to the right the like head head sway and everything there is our oasis been walking out here for days on end I thought I was a goner I didn't think I was gonna make it where there's green there's got to be water we might just be saved might be able to live here for a little bit I don't know how much we're gonna be able to eat but I don't think we're going to be rescued anytime soon, so we've got to figure that out. I love all the little sand wisps that happen here. You can see where it's it's wisped its way up the uh, the mountainside with all these little ridges and things. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine this feeling of, of coming across this in the desert thinking you were at the end of it? I mean, is this an illusion or is this real? This is our oasis. I would be straight sprinting down into the water. Every last bit of energy that I had would be spent in this moment right here. Just pure ecstasy running down. I wonder how hot this water would be. I mean, if, it, if it's underground like this, it'd have to be like a, a spring fed, right? It might be nice and cool. Who knows? Look at like the, the shadows and everything here, though. How it plays with the sand, how it plays with the water. We would definitely be coming down here. Jumping in and take it a dip. Now, I don't think the water is the point of this. We've checked out the water in other demos. The point is just how insanely beautiful this is. Look at the reflections on the water. Look at how it's, it's reflecting the trees. Oh my goodness, dude, this is amazing. Let's go take a walk through the woods, shall we? Find a little bit of shade. Look at this, how we have the, the bokeh happening here over on the left with the, the tree that's closer to us. We're not focusing on that. Oh my goodness, dude, this is insane these beautiful green palm trees lining the desert here our own personal little oasis get out of my way tree look at that moving the trees around the shadows are absolutely incredible oh my goodness dude look at this this looks better than real life look at what happens when we focus on this palm tree you can see the fibers of the spikes of the palm are you kidding me look look at this zoom in on that look at this notice how our focus changes we're looking at the palm fronds and stuff in the background and then we put this front and center and we're slowly gonna focus on that obviously it's a little bit blown out because it's right here in this oh my gosh dude the way the lighting shifts and everything it's, it's like your eyes in real life. You know, our, our pupils are, are, you know, kind of dilating and moving and whatever else to the, the, you know, what we're looking at here. Oh, it takes like a minute to come into focus. But when it does, it's just absolutely gorgeous. This is insane. I, like, I, I, I say that a lot and I, I usually mean it, but like, I, I don't think I have a better word for it here. This is truly remarkable. Think about 
what this is going to mean for you. Look at the detail in these palm trees. This is like a core memory for me. Like I, I'm, I'm going to dream tonight and I'm going to think that I'm out here in the Sahara. I, th this looks like I'm there. I mean, walking around, you've kind of got like a little bit of motion blur and, and bumpiness and stuff like you would have if you were in real life. But if you stop and take a second to smell the roses, just look how things come into view. Look, look at this palm tree. I, 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 I just don't even know what to say, dude. This is miraculous. I cannot believe that this is real. Looking out over the lake here. Wow, dude. Each one of these palm trees are all so different. Look at these compared to these over here. I just don't even know what to say. Look at this. Watch this come into focus, dude. Shut the front door. Are you kidding me? Tell me that this is not like live GoPro footage of, of some guy walking through the Sahara Desert right now. I just don't even know what to say. Every angle I take looks even better. Sometimes I feel like if you're a little bit too close, it won't come into focus. I don't know if that's on purpose or what. We don't have any animals out here, do we? I'm a little bit worried. I mean, I, there'd be scorpions, maybe snakes. If there were any bad things around here, they would be in this area because they would all be looking for the water too. Can we get up on top of this rock? How's our jumping situation? Oh my gosh, even the shadow. You can see all the individual fingers and everything. I will say, I think that's probably the weakest point here is, well, Honestly, that boot looks pretty good. I take it back. Even that the hand down there, it's just anything that's super, super close goes super out of focus, which is is interesting. Oh my gosh, dude. I, I didn't even look at that boot. Can we focus on the boot again? The focusing is weird. I don't know how to dial in the focus, but dude, this is insane. Look. Oh, the water doesn't really look that good, to be honest. We can't pick and choose here. Look at look at this, Trev. Wow. That looks like a photograph. I'm just utterly blown away here. I, I've, I have never seen anything like this. And to think that, I mean, this is, you know, kind of on the, the cutting edge of where we're at now. But to think a few years from now, this could be normal. We, we could have, you know, a new Uncharted game, an Assassin's Creed game, a GTA game, a whatever game with graphics that look like this. Just unreal. So we've actually got a second biome we can choose from here called Forest Winter. I think this might be the same Oasis map, but at night. Oh, this this is a, a bit a bit creepy. We gotta give stuff a minute to load it. Dude, look at that. Oh gosh. Oh I I hear I hear oh man. Okay. Yep. This just turned from something really cool to a horror game. Dude, look, look at the palm fronds. And look at our light and how the light moves on it as we get up to those top fronds that are closest to us and they start to light up. Oh my goodness, dude. Look at the way the light behaves and bounces off of these things. I'm going to get a bit closer. Let's take a look. Zoomed in on this thing. I I just don't even know what to say, dude. Look look at the, the you know, the, the trunk here. But also look at how good the palm tree in the background looks with the moon behind it. Look at the way that the sky and the moonlight comes through all these these trees here. You can see the, the sand off in the distance there on your horizon. The vast night sky out here. Absolutely no light pollution to be able to mess up your day. Look at this, man. I, I just... I, I'm... I can keep saying, look at this, and oh my gosh, this is insane, and it's it's not going to get the point across. This is truly incredible. Maui, well done. Truly, bravo. This is one of the coolest things I have ever seen in all my time of playing video games. Look at all these. I feel like the ground vegetation maybe isn't as detailed, or, or maybe we just can't. Oh, yeah, we can zoom in on it. It's just got to be far enough away. Look at those little plants there. Oh my goodness, man. Okay, I'm I'm not gonna lie, this this one makes me a little bit nervous. I don't I don't know if I like being here at night. So hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love checking out the future of games and seeing what kind of stuff we're gonna get into. This is a direction that I wanna go. Oh my gosh, look. Look at the moon peeking through the, the palm fronds there. Oh <laughs> dude. All right. The future's here, it's coming. Whether we like it or not. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys. In our next video, definitely want to check out more Unreal Engine 5 stuff as it comes along. Again, shout out to Maui for making this incredible asset. I'm going to link the, the details and, and links and everything down below. And uh, I'll see you guys later.